in the world today, when you make aluminum, you generate a waste stream, a byproduct called red mud. It looks red because it contains iron oxide in the form of hematite, and hematite is red, and you see as far as the eye can see. And this is a toxic waste, and they just accumulate toxic waste all over the world. And if you take the roughly 150 million tons a year of red mud that's generated globally, and you put the red mud in trucks and line them up, they'll go around the earth more than four times. 98% of that material is not being reused today. And here's what we're gonna do. We take the red mud, and we do this chlorination with dual heating at 1450 degrees, and boom, we get rid of the iron, copper, nickel, magnesium, and sodium, as well as the heavy metals. So as we tested it, we found that we can remove the iron, we can recover iron chloride, recover titanium chloride, and then we can recover aluminum. All of those things have great value, but in the beginning we were a little bit worried because we still had this material left that didn't have value and that would still have to go in a landfill or an impoundment. And we worked with some very good partners out of India. They can use what's left as a clinker substitute in making cement. And then all of a sudden the light bulb went off for us and we're like, okay, this is a real business. 